Slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. You know the near destination, the more you slip sliding away. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. I'm such a dorky dad. All right. Slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. I want to give you a little teaser of what's coming up. This Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and that means it's the beginning of Lent. I'm in a group of Catholic YouTubers, and we're doing something this Lent called of Lent. And the goal is for each of us to make a vlog episode every single day during Lent. We'll be marking all of our episodes with hashtag Vlent, and so should follow along. Last year that Catholic couple did it and it really helped their channel and it helped them figure out what they wanted to do with their channel. So I'm looking forward to what comes out of this. So as I was thinking about this, I was kind of worried. It's a lot of episodes and I've only been doing a weekly episode for a short time. So the idea of doing an episode every day was kind of daunting. there's an idea that I had to go through my favorite passage of the Bible, John 14 to 17. And this is the period from the end of the Last Supper to the Garden of Gethsemane. And these are the last few hours that Jesus spends with his disciples and his apostles before he goes to the cross. I always see these as the most important words that Jesus has to his disciples. He talks a lot about what he wants them to do. He talks a lot about how he doesn't want them to worry. He knows that he's about to go to the cross and he knows that this is going to cause a lot of problems in his disciples and he wants them to continue to trust him. And I mean that's even the the first verse of chapter 14. We're going to be talking about that on Ash Wednesday. But Jesus says to his disciples, don't worry. You trust God, now trust in me. So we're going to be looking at a verse or two every day. I'm hoping to have some guests during Lent to talk about some of these verses too. I encourage you to read through John 14 to 17 a few times during Lent and just imagine yourselves as one of Jesus' disciples. Imagine yourself walking with him those last few hours before he goes to the cross. Imagine yourself as he's talking to his disciples. Imagine Jesus talking to you and imagine that he is calling you to what he is calling the disciples to. Because, because that's what he's doing. Jesus is calling us to follow him every day. And Jesus wants us to follow him more every day. Jesus says things to the church all the time, through the liturgy, through his word, through the sacraments. But Jesus also wants to say something to each one of us individually all the time. I've been reading this in my daily prayer as a preparation. God is always seeking after us, seeking a deeper encounter with us in prayer. I pray that this time will be an enriching time for you. This Lent will be an encouraging time of growth for you, an encouraging time for you to seek Jesus and to seek a deeper relationship with Him. If you have any questions during Lent as I'm going through these passages, I encourage you to leave any questions or comments in, uh, in the comments section on the video. And I will be sure to read all of them and respond to them. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So be sure to join me on Wednesday morning. I'll be there with ashes on my forehead. We'll start this adventure together on the way to Easter and into a deep relationship with Jesus. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you think that I've earned it. And I'm looking forward to this adventure with you.
traveling through Lent and growing closer to Jesus. God bless. I'll see you on Wednesday.